No, so I got you. You're doing your job for there. you. And I did not spawn where I wanted to spawn. Yeah. Fuck, I hate this that I de uh, default to assault every game. That's really annoying. It's it is annoying. Best. It's a yeah, feature. Like assault is terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's a feature. Did I turn off HBO yet? I better turn that off. Why? HBO. What's wrong with HBAO? Takes a lot of frame time. Well, maybe you have a shitty computer. Yeah, probably. Most people do. I do. I don't have a I shitty got... computer, but, um, yeah. Do you have it on or off? <laughs> yeah. I had it on. I turned it down to SSAO. Why, though? Does it, like, give you any advantage? Yeah, then you're fine. Well, it dep uh, uh, depends on how it is. Yeah. almost never see, so it depends on how oh, great. physics it works, too. Taking down the building. Hooray. Yay. Gray mode. Oh, I feel like the animations gone, might really? be rendering at 30 FPS or something like that. They probably are because they're probably oh, they're the same animations as the console version. Yeah. So they can't they're rendering, be rendering. Oh my higher god, than that. what an idiot. You, uh, oh, fuck. are rendering much slower than uh, 30 frames. And chip. In multiplayer, it's probably 25. Fuck. No, it's even lower than that. I can just tell by like when you like stab somebody or something. Like it's way yeah, lower. It's like 15. That's really, yeah, those are really. That could just do be interpolation due to lag, though. But yeah, you're probably right. I think it's just a, I think it's just a server side bug. I don't know what it is though. So. It's probably that the server is. It's that the animation speed for knifing is limited by like how fast the server is ticking the knife animation or some stupid shit like that. Oh, this is hilarious. Is weird, I, I'm seeing the dust to creep across. Work. The ground, the like in real time. So. Yeah, it does yeah. That. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I've never actually seen it before. It's really I've cool. seen, I'm, I'm following um, the speed of dust. <laughs> Man, it does I've make everything look so much worse. If you spawn, there's actually uh, I, I I figured out how they did the dust because I there's a bug with the um I think it's the uh, what spawn is it? Yeah, it's the U.S. spawn. If you drive a MRAP or something fast out of the U.S. spawn. <laughs> You see this really clear delineated line on the ground that? where there are these yeah. dust emitters? On my jet ski? Yeah, it was. No, I wasn't on the jet ski. <clears throat> I just blew up a tank. Dude, oh, fucking, it's Hagrid in here! Lengthen the amount of time Hi. that you can get yes. fucking res. Because I said I had like two, two fucking I'm assaults on the other team, to though. try and uh, res me, but nope. I jumped off the jet ski, hit the boat, and died instantly. <laughs> nice, nice. Hey man, I might just see this kind of. GM on your jihad jet ski. Gotta say over. Over. Okay, let's go get this boat. I'll jump off right before we get there. Thank you, Shark. Okay, go get him. What? Oh shit! How did that not kill him? I jumped off too late. And the explosion just killed me. <laughs> Man, it's good that they finally updated because it sure does look and run better. It doesn't yeah. look any better. I think it looks worse, if anything. Ah, it runs better, for sure. Yeah, well, but it looks worse. Runs for. Looks better means I can turn the settings higher and have it run just as well. Or better. You know what? Okay, I mean. EGM, you better get it fucking get it this time. Enemy sniper. <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> That's three failed jihad jeeps. Uh, jihad jet skis, thank you very much. You don't need a jihad jet ski, you just need to have a rocket launcher. There appears to be a hostile helicopter east of you. What do I want to play as? Do I want to unlock Son the MK11? There we go! I got the MRAP underground. Awesome. I'm gonna play a straight up sniper. With the fucking silencer. The silencer is not as uh, much of a limitation as it was in BF3. Oh, oh it's pretty bad. Super good on the base. Uh, fucking sniper rifle. So, what, I wonder what's gonna change one month from now in BF4. Everything. Probably the gunplay will be garbage again. <laughs> I don't really Man, like it now, to be honest. I like the gunplay. Miss BC2 a lot. gunplay. I miss BC2. 
This is good. I mean, you... nice. I, I like the game where you. they you die fairly quick from shots. So. <laughs> So there was a puppy who came down in here, and he saw the MRAP parked to the flag and just turned around and walked out again. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. No. Never mind. Nope. Not do that. Okay, yeah, who yeah, wants to go? A good, that's a good idea, really. Oh, cool. Who I wants to roof camp? Suite. Who wants to roof camp? I've got eyes on an enemy tank. Look Guys, thanks for the store. Which roof? Any roof. I don't give a shit. My autism story is not tank open for business. Between D and E. That's yeah, I'll do that. Move. Please retain the rockets. I spawned the DM up heading over to the uh, building. I want to get some more sniper I'll kills. I'll be and, your uh... support. Battlefield yeah. hasn't had an interesting single player campaign since modern combat. What? That's not true at all. No, totally. It's I great. don't know. The fucking Bad Battlefield 3 was awesome. single player was amazing. Mm. Really? Uh, no. It was no. mechanically a It was not. Though. I mean, I'm I mean, interesting. Yes, Look, so uh, I did not like the BF uh, DC2. Uh, hey, why would you ever play better than the 1942 single player? Anything's better than the 1942 single player. Battlefield. I love Bad Company 2 single player. I hey, thought it was fun. Yeah, yeah, Bad Company 2 single bad player was fun. The first Bad Company was a lot of fun. Bad Company I didn't 1 play and the first 2 was good. And bad, the Bad Company games well, had was characters that had actual like personalities yeah. besides I'm that American. Is... That, that was why I you did like. It. That I did like, yeah, but I thought it felt the one. gameplay felt too much like, uh, you know, the gameplay uh, was nothing special. Yeah, it felt like uh, Modern Warfare or something like that, and it was kind of boring in that the respect. The gameplay was nothing special, but it was a huge sight better than Call of Duty because it actually they bothered to write at all. They had writers and they actually had dialogue. Look, I'm gonna say I think the first Modern Warfare was a fantastic single player campaign. That's true, it was. For its time, but yeah, for its time, yes, correct. The whole fucking your character dies was fucking out of this world. No, that's great. War games need. Yeah, to that's do that. true. I mean, war uh, games need to be not afraid to kill the player character. Modern Warfare basically, you know, kept the Half-Life idea of it's always in first person, but then they also killed your characters. Yeah, it's a great idea. They've since turned the sports. Where's your engineers? engineers? Why aren't you an engineer? Where's Mystery Murder? I'm, I'm support. We tried to put, uh, we tried to pitch that for the bureau actually well, to have the first working. level be this is you're working. some random mook who dies, and then you get oh, and then you become deep. Carter after that. But because that's fucking work. awesome. It's totally unexpected mm -hmm. too. Because I'm yeah, cool. yeah, the player expects. Oh, it's a cutscene. I have death immunity. Yep. <laughs> Guess what, bitch? No. <laughs> well, that's I why liked I... how it wasn't a cutscene in in uh, Call of Duty. In in that you're Mirror's actually Edge just would chilling out with that. It was a quasi cutscene. Well, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Quasi, yeah, but you were hanging out in the chop, and all of a sudden, boom, dude, you're dead. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> in, in Mirror's Edge, when, when that big school uh, business dude comes at you with the baseball bat, oh, and it's a cutscene, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna sit back and watch Faith, uh, Faith like murder this guy, and then the, the bat turned blue or red, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I like tried to push the button. That section. That was probably the hardest the section. Also, in one edge. of the things that I liked about Modern Warfare was the fucking wow. sniper level, where you have to like adjust for Coriolis effect and shit like that. That was fun as fuck. Uh, so the Coriolis effect actually, wasn't in the Modern Warfare one sniping. You don't actually have to adjust anything if you're anywhere vaguely near him. The bullet automatically no, gets. No, I know it's sorry. true. You have to adjust for Coriolis effect when you're like two kilometers away. But still, no, you, that? no, 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 no. Yeah, the system, no, the system is two that kilometers. Shot no, you is, don't. That shot is. I mean, that shot is. Uh, In the game, scripted. It was really close. No, of course not. But I mean, of course it's, it was. Yeah. But it looks fucking awesome, and it was totally. Oh cool. yeah, it looks cool. But there's the amount of player interactivity is just is the same as in as stab rat to not die in BF3. I know that. <laughs> oh, for the record, rat. stab rat to not die was hilarious. In that terms was of how stupid it was. That was basically was a parody funny. of itself. Yeah, it Wait, was. Stab rat to not die. I don't know this one. Yeah, there's it, a part in, in Battlefield, Battlefield 3, 3 you have a QTE you don't remember rat, that? and if you lose, you die. Yeah, what happens basically is you're oh, crawling yeah, 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 through a drain yeah, yeah, pipe yeah, yeah. I remember, when, the I remember. when the Iranians are up there. Yeah, and if you don't stab the rat, you bang your head and then they shoot. Yeah, and, so uh, and you flip off the rat. Look, I still think that the <laughs> fucking game yeah, that's was really fun. I thought the single player for BF3 was really fun. Honestly, it wasn't and it that was, bad. I heard it worse, but it was, it was nothing shit. special. And it was the first true Battlefield game that had a single player. Killboy is right. Modern he has good opinions. Listen to him. Uh, Battlefield uh, 2, Battlefield 1. 
None of them had a Vietnam never had a real single player campaign. VF3. Yeah, they had Didn't bots. Modern Combat have it? I saw someone play Modern Combat for had Modern Combat. The most that was pretty interesting cool. campaign. Yeah, but it was just basically big freeform sandbox missions. It's but cool. I never played Bingo. Modern Combat because consoles and shit, but still. I didn't either, but I saw videos of it. It looked really fun. But still, that wasn't a true Battlefield game. It wasn't Battlefield I guess 1, 2, or 3. But Well, if that's your definition, then. Yeah, yeah sure, but neither was Vietnam. What do you do? Yeah, Vietnam was a true Battlefield game. No, it was not 1, 2, or 3. I would say a lot of people consider. I would say a lot of people consider uh, Bad Company 2 to be a true Battlefield game. See, I wouldn't, because it didn't have no. 64 players. I liked it. If that's your metric, it's absolutely... Yeah, it did. He, no, 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 Bad Company too. Oh. Did Vietnam have 64 players? Yeah, it was a, it was a mod for... Uh, Vietnam yeah, was, a was a mod for 1942. Yeah, exactly. You have Battlefield By the way, I did love oh, yeah, who's Vietnam. forgetting 2142, by the way? That game fucking rocked. I never really played it. Nice forgetting 2142, that too. They're trying to forget it because it was probably the best Battlefield game they ever made. And they get really shirty whenever somebody brings it up and asks them when they're going to do a sequel. Yeah, I mean, seriously, in all this time since, you know, Transformers and Battleship and all that crap, why haven't they not brought 2042 back with that kind of... I mean, 2142 had probably the most interesting game mode that I've never seen replicated in another game before. Titan mode. I never played it, so. Well, basically, you had these two giant uh, you should play the demo. carriers, like it was shield also so carriers. Yeah, yeah, it was totally buggy, but, but it was such a great idea. They had basically two giant shield helicarrier style things on the battlefield, and they ran around the battlefield, and uh, those things moved around the battlefield, but there are dudes on the ground, and you were going for missile silos, and you capture the missile silos, they shoot missiles at the titans, and then eventually the titans' shields drop, and then you can invade the enemy titan and go to the reactor, blow up the reactor, and that's how you win the game. By the way, whoever's in and the tank... And after you blow up the reactor, you have a sprint to the jump yes. off of the board. which is, by up. the way, something tight. Have you seen the titan? Titanfall footage? Titanfall has, verbatim has the same thing. When the end, there's, when there's the Did end of the match in Titanfall. Alpha is now Yeah, that was much, hilarious. The lag, yeah, because the lag was just so bad. But uh, in Titanfall, what they did was, what they have now is they, uh, if you've been looking at the E3 footage and the demo footage they've been putting out, after a match ends, the match isn't is just like your team loses, your team, uh, the other team wins, it's now you have an epilogue phase, which is your entire team, whoever's left, there's no respawning, has to try and get to hey, the extraction Shark. dropship what is as fast Titanfall? as they can. It's Titanfall the game that respawned is the, the old, moder the old uh, Infinity Ward thing. Spork, do you live under a fucking rock? Oh my god. I yeah, guess. Yeah. 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 Respawn is doing a game. When E3 was going on, I was working and I wasn't paying too much attention to E3, to be honest. But yeah, Titanfall okay. is basically... Titanfall. Yeah, it's basically an FPS that has jet, uh, lim very limited jetpacks, Prince of Persia-style platforming that lets you climb buildings, giant robots that you can call down from space, and, Yeah, you should uh, go look yeah. up that trailer it's fucking, right it's now. It's fucking ridiculous. It looks like it's gonna be such a good game. Fuck, speaking what's in of Prince of Persia, that's speaking of Prince of Persia, that first, the, the first boat. Prince of Persia was the fucking hardest game ever. Sands of Time? No, no you Prince of Persia. the OG. Prince of Persia won. Oh yeah, that game was incredible. Yeah. Oh fuck! But it looked so fucking good with the fucking rotoscoping and shit like that. Well, yeah, oh, well, you know, God. Jordan McIntyre fought just fat, just uh, got the original source code back. Hang out here for a bit. Yeah, I saw he released it, right? <laughs> I was gonna. Well, the way he got it back is great. He had it in a box, right, in his closet, or something, home, right, yeah. and his mom sold everything in his closet and it disappeared. And then so someone was like, holy shit, Prince of Persia. Internet. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, someone just like looked in some random box and was like, holy fucking shit, we're gonna go get that code. Yep. Nuts. It's such a great story, too, because he put out an open call and he's like, I'll pay pretty much whatever you want if you have it and we'll give it to me. And the guy who had it was like, oh, here, it's free. Yeah, because that's how most of the people online are. They're like, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. So wasn't I mean, it's, it the it's cool. System Shock 2 and Thief source code that were found, like, on a random CD that someone had in the garage? The book book? Um, are you talking about the, the, uh, that mysterious patch that came no, out a is. little while ago? Well, that... No one actually knows... That came from it, didn't it? That came Based from the source code, but no one actually knows who set out that patch. How they did it, or how they did it. Oh shit! Well, well still it, it makes sense that, that it would just be an ex-developer who got a hold of the source. Yeah, it's probably someone from it's it. probably someone from Looking Glass who decided, hmm, it's about time I should go through my old shit. Oh my god, look at this weird back. Enemy choppers behind us. Oh, oh fuck yeah, I got the ghost ring. 
for the P226, baby. Oh, nice. Woo. Woo. Those string sights are cool, I guess. Oh, no. They're great. It's, it's, they're cool. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, the, yeah, it's behind us, though. No string sights, actually. I know you do, Mad Raku. I know you do. What? Ghost Street yeah, sights are fucking beautiful. That good, actually. I've never actually used one on a real gun. I've only seen it in games. But on rifles, they're great. Hand guns are shitty. Well, it's good in the game. I don't know. If What's I so special? It. What's so special about them? The idea is that the human eye automatically uh, puts the post into the center of the circle. Ah. Got him. That's good reasoning. Okay. Heads up! There's an enemy machine gunner east of your location. That's huh. a horrible driver. Speaking of weird sites that are simulated or not simulated properly in games, uh, I bought Takedown Red Saber, and oh, no. yeah, uh. yeah, and isn't that that new game that was supposed to be like the spiritual successor yeah. of fucking Raven yep. Shield? Yep, yep. Or so it's they pretty said. terrible right now. It's pretty terrible right now. It's basically an early access game right now. I wouldn't buy it for at least a year if it lasts that it's long. Some shitty Kickstarter game. It was a Kickstarter game that looked like it was going to be okay, but it's actually terrible right now. I would not buy it for at least a couple years. But anyway, first thing I noticed that I was like giving the game a chance by playing it, and then I immediately noticed that when I equipped a holocyte, I was trying to spot that the building. I couldn't get him. I was like, yeah, no, good I, run, was talking, I was yeah, talking was. with my buddies at uh, Tripwire. I, th I thought you were going to go to where the chopper and they were like, yeah, they yeah, yeah, a lot of the people at Tripwire bought it, and they were like, yeah, yeah it's, it's, so shit. Shit. it's so terrible. <laughs> It's so terrible. Oh. You, the, uh, your axis of fire when you peek the gun around the corner doesn't even match the way the barrel's pointing. Holocytes don't actually work. They don't reflect point of aim. It's just like everything is totally fucked up in it. Yeah, they basically so said bad. that it was fucking broken as shit. Yeah, every you single marketing point they have is bullshit. Stealthy, you were better instead of being stealthy, you were better to be just go running around. Yeah, well, it was basically it was what Raven Shield multiplayer turned into, which was everybody sprinting around with FAMASs with Beta C mags full auto firing around corners. I did love just, Raven Shield yeah. multiplayer, though, I gotta say. Yeah, Raven Shield multiplayer tango hunt was great. We had like four or five other people in a map full of like 80 tangos that you had to take down. It was hard as fuck. That was fun. A competitive multiplayer in Raven Shield was just terrible. It was completely unbalanced. I never did competitive, yeah. It was completely unbalanced because, I mean, there were no, there was no real like... There were no real downsides to the good guns, like the FAMAS was the best gun, it had the best accuracy, the best rate of fire, so you just put a beta C mag on it, and full on it anything that would look bad, and it died. What was the beta C mag then? The 101 round magazine. Oh, right. Yeah. The, you know, the Sentry magazine, or whatever the fuck it's called. Thing that doesn't work on like 99% of modern guns, because it's a terrible, badly conceived design that weighs way too much for normal magazine catches to, to uh... Stand. <laughs> it's like you can put a beta C mag on almost any gun. That's correct. But if you would like the magazine catch to work and hold it into the gun, <laughs> you can't load it all the way. You can't even load it most of the way. Uh, that's the main. That's the reason why we don't have like 100 round straight magazines and why 40 or 45 rounds is kind of a limitation. I, I think the. Uh, I like the Surefire 60 round magazines. I think that's pretty oh, yeah, those compromised. Oh, yeah, those things are pretty cool. Yeah. What are those? Quad yeah. stack? Like quad stack? Yeah, they're quad stack, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was one of the reasons. That was it, one of the yeah, things I loved. Yeah, it's just two magazines put together, basically. Yeah, that was one of the things I loved about the, um, what is it, that Italian submachine gun in Black Ops 1 with the, the quad stack coffin magazine. That thing just looked so fucking cool. Phantom. Oh, no, was, the, the Phantom was what it was called. In. Anyways, let's yeah. fucking, uh, let's take this, uh, A. Yes. Take your A. I'm ready for the tank. Take your faces, A. Fuck you, Birdo. Fuck you, Birdo. The window was closed, so I made it a door. Only in Battlefield. Sponsored by Carl's Jr. and Slim Jims. Dr. Pepperdine. When does that promotion start? Because there are tons of dogs in my Hopefully office soon. that I can throw the Slim Jims to. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat them. I'm just gonna kill the Slim Jims and throw them to all the dogs in my office probably and make here. the dogs die of diabetes. Why are there dogs in your office? For killing dogs. Oh, because so fucking everyone here. in my office likes dogs and I don't. Oh, and I hate well, them. how's it feel to not be a fucking person? Wow, dog hater's turn. 
Yeah, Dog Hater. I. Jesus. Yeah, really. How's it feel not to be Jesus? Dog? I. I don't know, man. I'm a cat person. Yep. I guess I'm on this. You have to hate dogs. Yeah, you yeah. fucking are. Yeah. No, I just don't like dogs. They're stupid. They're loud. No, they're not. They're smelly. They're not. They're not. Oh my god, you're so wrong. What? Yeah, you're, you're, not, you're just not very smart. What did a yeah, dog okay, ever sure. do you? A lot of because, because What kind of dog bit him when he was a child? Because border collies are stupid. They're not. Okay, border collies probably aren't stupid. Yes, that's true. Any dog that can hurt you. None of those are in my office. Labs are off. Awesome. Fuck you. No labs in my office either. Well, you don't have so, any yes. sheep in your office? Weird. Wait, what kind no of sheep. labs are you in your office? Oh. None. What there kind of dogs any. are in your office? Uh, tiny little horrible dogs that shouldn't exist and scream, kill me whenever I look at them. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> giant, evil, savage dogs that wish to murder each like other. Like what? What kind of dogs? I don't fucking know what the breeds are. Like you are little cat breeds. You, I oh god. god. Yes. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Okay, what kind of office dogs? A game development office? Oh, I'm sucking so hard right now. Welcome to Battlefield? Yeah, you're yeah, sucking so hard. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> no, welcome to... Yeah. Welcome to Spottlefield. Best way to get points is the spot. Hey, recon is really good. So hey, Elite Garbage Man, how you doing? Yeah, recon's good as long as you don't use a sniper rifle. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I've been using a sniper oh, rifle. Oh, dude, I was getting awesome, awesome, awesome shit with well, the sniper rifle. Well, the sniper rifle doesn't matter since you probably aren't going to be shooting at people much if you're just... Get ready! Right. So Silent, dude, look at this uh, dog and say, wow, I hate dogs. Uh, hold on, I have to puppies. find that. Oh, that is pretty fucking cool. That corgi does not want to do anything. <laughs> okay, corgi, corgis are an, are an exception for me because I consider them to be honorary cats because they they're pretty also, chill. They basically are, that's true. Dude, Dude labs they're pretty are chill. fucking awesome too, so fuck you. Bad I don't like so hyperactive pet animals. animals. I do! Oh, I really so don't like hyperactive pet animals. They irritate me a lot. You do realize corgis are pretty hyperactive, right? Not yeah, the ones but they I've are... Made. Like, the ones I've met are pretty chill. Corgis are literally herding dogs, therefore they have so much fucking energy. Yeah, the ones I've met are pretty chill, so legs, I don't know. They can't go very fast. I guess, yeah, I guess that's the saving grace there. Does anybody want to go play Obliteration or not? Yeah, I'd like to try some uh, yeah, Obliteration. Uh, I'll, I'll go after this round. This round I'm, gonna go, to I'm gonna go find. Yeah. Well, I'm going to find one right now. So uh, okay. Is that really good? Well, yeah. I'd like to stay on this server so I can keep my point. Wait, wait. My points are gonna get reset, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, eventually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd still like to see the yeah. round out. All right, fair enough. Mad and Blue yeah, is uh, so sure. pretty cool. It's basically they brought back one flag CTF, which I'm stoked about because one flag CTF is awesome. But you've also got multiple points you can take the flag. Yes! Flag. See, that makes so it even more interesting. Because one flag CTF is usually way too easy to come down. Right, but the multiple points are easy. Well, the way you make multiple, the way you make one flag CTF better is you, uh, you make the bases really big or whatever. Oh shit. Alright, how much, how much more time left in the round? Uh, 122 tickets on our side. And that's yeah, so 138 on there, so... 5, 10 okay. Well, I'm gonna go get some water on the back. Spotted an enemy soldier! Okay. Uh, post the battle log link once you're done finding the server. Post the link to your Twitter with that. The water. Twitbot Battlefield. Google, tweet my battle log, sir. <laughs> Only Battlefield can bring down Twitter. If only nothing can bring down Twitter at this point. Except that Machete. Machete can bring down Twitter if he felt like it. Machete kills Twitter. He's a fucking sick movie. Danny Trejo is can't. Okay. <laughs> Trejo. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. Oh, it's so <laughs> white. So Megaphone white. can you say the words right? It's Danny Trejo. 
in a, in a, in a World War I movie. <laughs> no, machete kills though. Is cool. Cannon with the uh, oh, spy kids. It's this great. Right? You don't need to see yeah, it. Like I, didn't, I, didn't. I didn't see the first one. movie, but yeah, I don't know. What, that you're, there is a number of spy kids. Isn't there? Well, yes, yeah, they're yeah, all Alexa Vega is in the same in, universe. Um, so or they're some all shit. part of the same universe. Alexa Vega is also in uh, Machete Kills. Yeah, apparently she's well, uh, pretty I, I hot really now. Wanna, I really want to see Grindhouse yep. anyway, so I want to see Machete yeah, you and, see, and whatever. You should see the first half of Grindhouse. Planet Terror is a great movie, yes. Quentin Tarantino's dick falls off. Dude, Quentin Tarantino's so great. <laughs> did you ever see... Did you ever I see, love him uh, acting in his own movies. Well, he always does, but I mean... No, it's great. He always gets killed. It's perfect. Have you ever seen, uh, Four Rooms? Four Rooms, no. I have not. Oh, wait, is that with James Franco? No, I... Maybe. I, it was, is that the it one that like destroys time four hotel rooms or some shit? Well, yeah, but I don't think it's James Franco. I'm gonna check right it now. Isn't? I... Okay, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, uh, it's, Antonio Banderas, is it? Yes, in Machete Kills, yes. Yes. No, in Four Rooms. No, it's oh, like it's like Madonna and like uh No, I haven't seen it then or heard Lily Taylor by someone with the Nazi flag again. Jennifer Beals and Antonio Banderas and That's the one where the kids discover a dead prostitute in the bed, right? No 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 <laughs> No four <laughs> That sounds like a good movie too. What's that one? <laughs> okay, uh map is almost over. Eight tickets, seven tickets. Okay, I'm gonna go find a new server right now then. Hold we on. lose four tickets. Oh god, this is gonna be over super fast. Are you sure that they lost way faster? Oh. Oh. No, we lost. You guys Are you kidding? Fought a good fight, man. Ninety-four to zero. Close. Okay, the well. only good, the only good server that I hold on. Let me just re rub, refresh this. Rebrub. Spork, are you in a cyber spork oh, or some other uh, username now? What? No, I am cyber sporks, plural. I think I have you on my friends list. It's not showing you as in game. Well, I'm not right now. Yeah, oh, there you go. Just, just wait a sec. You oh, but I guess I don't. I guess I don't oh, have you on my Oh, I got the level oh, I do, I do, battle I Yeah, just look, just post the server link in cool. the mumble and we can all just join from the server link. What, it takes so long to level up to level one? The leveling up curve yeah, is yeah. way, way, way steeper this time, but there's basically nothing tied to your actual level anymore. Okay, so it works guys, out. I think we all have Some enough gadgets. people on our friends list to join this, so we're going to go to uh, BF4 Beta Obliteration Dallas Fragnet. Go. Post the link in. Yeah, post yeah, the, the link in the link chat. Level, please. Just in case. Trying to I saw someone it. was playing a private server yeah, yeah. earlier Post today. the URL for the battle log server. It won't open up for there, so just someone join on me and then post or no, what, find no, me and then... No, like, you, you, click you click on it. the server like, in view full and server and, and then you it's copy the URL. It's not opening anything up. It's not opening anything up. Channel no. There. Thank you. Fucking babies. Uh, not a, well, it's kind of a weird paradigm. I I, I understand that not, not everyone gets it. This is 19 out of 32 obliteration. Is that what we wanted? Yep. Okay. And we'll try to get onto the same team eventually, but right now I am on the US, so first people in join that. And I am in Delta Squad. Yes. We're getting that D. Oh, yeah. I found the uh, D. Give her the huh. D. Give the D. Give the D. Give give her the D. Give him the D. Give us all the Get D. Get the herb. Get the herb. <laughs> the herb for derp. There we go. Padlock's gone. They got the Brahm and they're bringing it to their own shore. Beautiful. The, the bomb. <laughs>